Today is actually the formal part of the program, which is an induction, it's a whole day's program. And that will be followed by an on-site visit to be done tomorrow. And uh, on the fourth day, which will be Saturday, we will do eye testing. And the fifth day will be, of course, uh, departure. The Sasu Linzalo Foundation is a registered trust, uh, and it's also a public benefit uh, organization. Uh, its, its core mandate really is to carry on public benefit activities and the mandate is divided into three so we call it an ABC mandate. Um, so the one aspect of the mandate is to alleviate schooling bottlenecks um, and then the second aspect, the B part, is to boost vocational skills and then the third part is to create tertiary access. And, and, and the common theme around uh, the, this mandate is that we have to focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The induction program that we are attending today falls in the third mandate, which is the C mandate, that is creating tertiary opportunities. But ultimately, the goal is that, as a foundation, we are able to make a, signific a significant contribution to the country's uh, economic development. Uh, so that's why we do what we do. one has to have the required skills. And the better the skills that you have, the better the value add that one realizes. Primary and secondary education, as well as university curricula, do not put enough emphasis on science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and entrepreneurship. Unfortunately for us, these are the subjects required for us to be competitive within the BRICS cooperation. Our primary focus is on human capital development, the creation of new knowledge, and all of that to be able to ultimately contribute towards the quality of life. You have to dedicate yourself to academic excellence. Irrespective of where you go, to university, this is a very important opportunity for you. He has already published five papers, five papers already out of his PhD work, uh, published in internationally accredited and peer-reviewed journals. Furthermore, he also managed to register two international patents with his innovations. Then our way forward, polishing of the water to meet the criteria for domestic water use because it only treats the water to, the, to meet the requirements for irrigation purposes, not for domestic uses. Then evaluation the cost of operation is needed also. If you want to upscale the technology, you have to do all the cost analysis. Determination of actual magnesium deposit and project the potential lifespan of the technology. Because at one point, resources are finite. Magnesite is finite, it's, it's going to come to an end, then we should also predict for how long it's going to be there and how long can we use this material for treatment of us in mind drainage. You now have to start looking a year, two, a, two years ahead. I'm now saying to the honours students, by ju June, July, the call f is going to open for the master's bursaries and you should be ready to apply. As long as you do your part, you ask the right questions. Be pleasant to work with. Smile, work with the people, do your part, go the extra mile. That's all you need.